studied abroad in Sweden uh, last fall, um, and I took uh, um, like. I took a bunch of engineering courses, and I also did um, like a language and culture course. Um, I was able to take some upper division um, engineering courses that were required, which was really nice. And I felt like the material there translated really well to when I came back. In fact, that some of the courses I covered even a little bit more. And one thing that was really neat was I got to work. All of the labs I did were with international students. So not just it wasn't just with uh, other Swedes or other Swedish students. It was with a lot of people from all over the world. If you're uh, a first year, or they call you a zero before you go through this uh, thing, uh, you do like an orientation period. So you basically get assigned a mentor group. You know, even if you're Swedish, you like get assigned a mentor group. And it's a way to kind of meet other first years, meet some upperclassmen, and have a good time. So basically, every different major under the College of Engineering gets like a different color, like overall. So computer engineering is pink. And basically, you get these overalls. When you get them, they're brand new, and they're all pristine. And you kind of wear them throughout all the different events that you do during your orientation period. They get more dirty, you sew on patches. It's kind of like a badge of honor to have them more dirty. This is one of the events that you do as part of the um, orientation period, and um, all of the like first years like jump in the lake and they clean it out of all of the different debris and stuff. And it's a big competition, and so um, you make it, you clean out the debris and you make piles along like the edge here, and then whichever like major's pile is the biggest wins. Obviously, being from California, I'm not too used to living in snow. I've been to Tahoe, been you know been in snow before. But um, funny thing, this is actually the uh, day of the election for me. So I woke up in the morning, I checked my phone, I saw the news, and I looked at it, it was all snowing. So it was a very weird morning. But um, it was beautiful nonetheless, um, and I had to ride my bike in this for a couple weeks before it melted. So that was an uh, <laughs> interesting experience. But it was, it was fun, it was fun. It was, you know, seasons are something we don't normally get in Southern California, so it was nice kind of having them here. So this is inside, this is a pub that they have below where you take classes. So um, this engineering student union, um, every engineering major has like a little pub or hangout area in the building where you take most of your classes. So like picture HFH, that's where you take all, a lot of the CSEE classes. Picture having like a pub beneath HFH, like that's what this is. So it's run by students. You can't work for money while abroad because of your visa or maybe you can depending on where you go. But I was able to volunteer, and that was a hoot. I got to do a lot of, um, I just got experience like really participating in the student culture there, which is one thing you get to do living abroad versus just traveling. Sweden is kind of about the same size as California, so being able just to travel around Europe was kind of equivalent to traveling around the states. It's really, really doable. I hit like 10 countries or something. This is a photo I took when I was driving through Norway. So I rented a car when I was in Sweden with some friends. We drove uh, from, I was staying in like the southern part of Sweden. We drove all the way up into Norway to do, um, for like just like a weekend, to do a, a really cool hike. And um, like what you see here is pretty much what you see. You see this a lot in Norway. It's like insanely beautiful. And um, what's kind of funny is that they have a lot of tunnels when you start driving through Norway. And so what happens is you kind of drive through this and you're gonna get a little bit desensitized and then you go through a tunnel and they have like long tunnels, we're talking miles. And then you get on the other, on the other side and you see this again and you're just like, wow. So yeah, I, again, I recommend going to Norway too if you ever get the chance. So kind of on the topic of being able to travel around a lot, um, I actually just went to Prague for like four days on a whim. Um, because the lecture, the way the lectures kind of broke up, I was able to leave on like a Friday and get back on like a Monday. So um, yeah, this is just a picture of uh, Old Town Prague I took while I was there. Talking with people from internationally was really cool. And I found that coming back at the academics I did there really translated well and it's nice. Uh, I'm really glad I did that.